Man, everyone wait for me. Oh, I'm behind. I was like ahead, and then I just got behind somehow. All right, we out of here. Come it. <laughs> All right, man. Brought the bike out? Yep. It's nice. Right, yeah. See it? Alright, have a good one. Yeah, dude, look, I got I finally got turn signals and shit. That's it. Yeah. It's hella dope. This is I got the it's a street legal kit, so now like I have a I have a headlight switch and like all that stuff. So I got daytime running lights, that's what those are. And then I actually have a working brake light, so when I break it actually like lights up. Cool free shit. No, nah, I actually bought this. It was like 250 bucks. Yeah, well, it all plugs into the the stock power of the bike, so I don't have to charge anything. Oh, I thought you meant the bike was 250. No, no, no. Hold on, man. I'm about to buy one right now. No, this bike, with everything I've done to it, is probably close to like nine grand now. Probably more than this car. Oh, really? <laughs> all right, man. I'm gonna go hit the gym. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here because I feel good. I got a sweater underneath, but I ain't trying to be out here long. Yeah. It's cold, man. Yeah. All right, man. Later. Welcome back guys As you can see I was uh, Showing my co-worker a little bit of uh, The turn signals These things are dope I love it man It's just so simple Like I love it But there's, there's some cons to it So turning the front turn signals, they uh, basically just kind of zip tie and they got 3M tape behind the um, the little things. I don't like them. I wish I had something that actually like bolted on somewhere to the bike because the 3M doesn't hold even with cleaning it with alcohol. Nothing does anything. And uh, so sometimes they slip and fall down and then you're, you're stuck and you can't turn. And that's actually a really scary feeling I've been having lately because all of a sudden you have all this resistance that you can't turn. So uh, that's a bad, bad thing about these, uh, about this kit basically. But the best thing about this kit is the actual brake light works. It's sick. I love the fact that my brake light actually functions as a brake light. But there's also a con. The con is that it uses a stupid magnet on the brake lever, which I think is horrible. They should have tapped into um, one of the, the brake sensors. I understand some, most people take the brake sensors out, but they should have somehow tapped into the brake sensors because if you're running a like street legal serial on, most of the time you're going to have like the... the you know, the brake sensor's on for the motor. That's just my two cents. I feel like uh, it was a missed opportunity. So uh, when when I got time, in one of these videos, I'm gonna 100% show you a walk around on this bike. And if you follow me on TikTok, I actually posted a video of it already. And if you do follow me on Instagram at Mr. Central Driver, so it's MR Central Driver, it's not spelled out Mr. Just MR Central Driver, just like my YouTube channel. Um, go follow me on Instagram and you can definitely see that uh, I posted a video actually I take that back I posted it on my my story so I'm gonna post it again and I'll post it on my actual like my feed so you guys can check it out it is over a minute so I'm hoping it lets me post more than a minute video on there I think it does so you guys can go check it out before I actually get to the video but yeah, we'll definitely do a, a more thorough, thorough walk around this bike and just kind of show you some stuff. It's been a while since I've shown you all the mods I've done to this bike, so I'm thinking about including the Cerron Street Legal Kit and all the pros and cons, and then show you guys everything else I've done to the bikes. It's, it's been a hot minute. I think you guys would appreciate that, or most people will probably appreciate it. I've been saying for the longest time, too, that um, this motor I don't know if it's the chain for the pedal kit because it's insanely stretched and loose. But every time I uh, get on the bike, low RPM, it sounds like there's uh, almost like small little marbles in my motor. And But it, it pulls fine, it rides fine, everything's good. 
Um, the main chain is good. It's all lubed up. I'm not sure exactly what all that stuff is. I'm just gonna, you know, just keep riding it until something, you know, happens with it. But everything's all good, and I still have the original stock belt. I don't know how that belt is still holding on. Look at this. Look at this. Turn signals. Bam. Look at that. People knew I was turning. There we go. The only bad thing is, is during the day when I use them, I think it's kind of pointless. I keep forgetting to turn them off during the day because I'm not used to having these uh, turn signals on. At nighttime, you can see them like blasting in your face if you barely just happen to look down at the bike. So it's easy to know to turn them off at night. But how awesome is that, guys? Like, I got it from, uh, is it? Oh my God, I forgot the company's name. Get Shift, Grit Shift. They make some pretty cool stuff. And again, I apologize, guys. Um, I didn't really uh, meet the goal that I was trying to do by making a video every single day to the end of this year. With all that stuff that happened, um, just kind of sucks that I didn't uh, stick to it. You know, I wish nothing really happened about all that. You know, things happen in life. and I'm just glad I'm back to doing it. I'm going to be posting... As much as I can, might not be every day, but we got the holidays coming up. We got Christmas, just a few days. But uh, here's some videos that I can definitely tell you are gonna be coming out if you guys are interested and follow the channel, subscribe. Uh, the Wildgo AT2, we're doing a video on that. I'm doing a video on a uh, motorcycle. It's, well, it's like, it's actually a t-shirt. It's a red checkered t-shirt that I ordered from this company. And uh, I'll get into all that like once I, you know, do all their stuff. Um, they have Kevlar like uh, material in their t-shirts and then they have padding. It's a little bit of padding. It's not crazy padding, but uh, it'd be perfect for like a skateboard or, you know, an actual legit 30 mile an hour like bike where you're not, you know, doing 60, 70 miles an hour. But they look so nice. I can't wait until you guys see that. Like... I'm in love with how their t-shirts look. So we got those two videos coming out and then the walk around showing you guys the street legal Suron kit. That's gonna be a cool video. That's gonna be easy. I'm gonna do it in my garage, kind of like I did the Onyx RCR, the pros and cons list. And yes, that was me that made that video. It's been a while. A lot of people love that video. And I'll go over the whole kit and show you kind of what I like and dislike about it. And if you guys want to pick one up, I'm not associated with the company whatsoever, so I don't, I'm not going to get an incentive from it. And uh, But, you know, I'm just going to let you guys know my honest opinion. I bought it myself, and it was expensive as hell. And then I'm really hoping I can get an e-skate video going because I really want to do some e-skate stuff. But everyone, every time I hit people up on the group, no one replies. Everyone says they're down the ride, no one replies, but then everyone else gets together without me, and I don't hear about it. But I, I post up when I'm available, and if no one gets back to me, then I'm kind of screwed because I can't go any other time that they go other than the day that I'm actually available. I only really get like one day off a week. And then we definitely got to get together with Donnie again. We got to head, head out to Blackstone. Blackstone has been nuts. If you guys watched that video, that video popped off pretty good. Tons of people were watching it. And the following week after I posted that video, cops um were all in the news same location we were in the same parking lot that we parked in uh people were doing a bunch of sideshows over there and basically what happened is someone was getting pulled over a bunch of spectators kind of uh like you know got all around the cops and some people would kind of rush the cops and all that kind of stuff and the cops were like shoving people down especially like a kid he's like 17 or 18 and you know now the family's going after the cop because you know, they touch my son type of thing and defund the police, all this stuff. It's stupid. Like, if they're doing a maintenance stop, everyone should just get out of the way and let the cops handle the situation. Like, if I got pulled over on this bike, I don't expect people to be like, oh, my God, like, block the cops and let them go. Like, I mean, shit, I would love to, like, get away, but I hate when people make it all about, like, oh, cops did this, cops did that, when you know you're in the wrong. You shouldn't be, like, intervening with cops. I just wish I was there to like get some of my own footage that day, but I'm also kind of glad I wasn't there because that's just stuff I don't really necessarily want to be in. You know, I'm old enough 
to not be in there. I don't really care for it, but I know it's like good content type of thing. It's mostly just for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for sticking around to the channel after that uh, couple week break. But check this out. Just real quick, I'll give you a teaser of the, the tail light. Look at this thing. Bam. Bam. Hell yeah. And then watch. Boom. It's like a slight delay at first, and then they both sync up. It's so sick. So sick. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later.